Merry Christmas everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I will be giving you a prediction reading for Christmas Day the 25th of December in case everyone didn't know the date. Um, I'm here with my doggo Penny. Come on Penny. Come. Come on. Come. Here she comes. <laughs> I'll get her settled before. Oh she's stretching. Come on. <laughs> and Merry Christmas from Penny as well, guys. Oh, she gets tired in the morning. She has to have this little cat nap, and I'm about to take her for a walk. It's very hot here. We've got like 28 degrees, guys. It's a miracle, isn't it? Christmas has brought a miracle. Let's hope it 2023 brings a miracle. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, look, I do um let my guys channel through to you. We get a lot of music here. We also use a lot of code words as well, just so the algorithms don't pick us up. Sometimes YouTube does take my um, comments away and it does return them at a later date. So apologies for anyone if I've missed your comments. It's usually because I haven't seen them and YouTube hasn't given them back to me yet. Um, anyway, enough of that. How about we get started and we see what comes up for Christmas Day. Okay. We have to, the guides are just saying that we really have to allow things to be. We just have to allow things to be. We have to let the dust settle. This is what the guides are saying to us. It's showing me 2023 and it's showing me like this huge whirlwind storm. Like a, if you think of a giant dust storm, if anyone's um, been through any of those, they're, they're huge and they turn day into night um, and create this darkness. So what's gonna happen in 2023 <clears throat> the guides are saying we've been in, I oh know, we've been in like darkness for like three years. Not all of us. We snuck out of the darkness, didn't we? If you're here watching my channel. Um, and the, the light's going to start to appear again in 2023. This is a great message, guys. Um, the dust is starting to settle. So people are st going to start to see things with greater clarity. And they absolutely need to, don't they? So I'm getting that. It's like the, the year that's ahead... Is, is the dust settling and people starting to get their clarity, meaning the sleepwalkers. They're going to start to get a lot of clarity around what's, mm, as we know, what's really going on. Ah, the truth. Uh -huh. The truth is starting to come out. We know that it is. Hey, guys, I just have to mention to you too, after I shot my video yesterday, um, I took Petty for a walk. I told you I was taking her for a walk and I just started tootling up the street. We went for a pretty big walk. And um, <clears throat> I live like in a sort of quiet part of town. It's like, it's it's not a busy street. And all of a sudden, oh, I took it as a great sign, guys. And I just have to share it with you. There was like 10 massive motorbikes came through. And um, there was, you know, it was like a biker gang. And very unusual for them to drive through a back street. But I was thinking, oh, they're probably because of Christmas, the cops are out um, breath testing downtown. So I'd say they avoid them a bit. They know where the cops are going to be. So they kind of go through the back streets. And it was so funny because all I could think of was us. Like all I could think of was the Braveheart Bikers Freedom Fighters, <laughs> like um, the Mavericks, the Rebels. And guess, guess what club it was? Yep. I looked at the badges on the front of their jackets and it was the rebel bikers. So I took that as a very synchronistic sign and the, the guy out the front gave me a big like friendly Christmas wave and everything and Penny's like looking and it was so loud. They're all on like Harley Davidson's or whatever they were. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. I'm going to have some tea. Hang on a minute. So I thought that was a very big sign. There's these rebel bikers driving past me just after I'd done my reading with you guys. Um, and they never drive through the little quiet back streets. <laughs> it was just so weird, you know, so weird. And they're not allowed to have their, um, their what do you call it, their gang names on the back of their jackets anymore either. So they had nothing on the back. They just had rebels on the front. Oh, I loved it. It was a great synchronistic moment for me. So maybe that's a sign, guys, that we're heading in the right direction. Um, synchronicities, is, um, synchronicities are always great signs that you're on your path. Um, I've got a couple of videos if anyone's interested in those on synchronicity and signs because whenever um, things come into your experience like that, it means you're vibrating at the right, that have significant meaning for you as well. It means you're vibrating um, on, on 
where you're sort of meant to be going or heading or so look out for those things guys i mean that was a major one for me i told my husband about it as well and he goes god they never go down the side streets i went yeah i know it was just really unusual so i just had to share that as well guys anyway enough of the rebel bikers um message <laughs> so stay on your path guys look for those synchronicities uh let's see where else we go today God, I'm getting that George Michael song, Freedom. I think we've had that before. This year coming is about freedom. It's about fight backs. It's about freedom. People getting their lives back. Um, people are tired. They're sick of this. So I'm getting that song by George Michael, Freedom. Um, oh, that's all we want is freedom. And we know as, as the Braveheart bikers that we are and the BS detectors that see the garbage that's coming, we know none of this reset and anything they're rolling out these global leaders and elites are going to lead us ooh, oh your head are going to lead us to freedom it's going to lead us to control um just like china we know it is we know that's what's going to happen because of their credit scoring system so i'm getting that song freedom so i do feel like that dust is going to settle and people are going to start to fight for their freedom probably not us i don't i don't see us doing these um fights we've done our fighting we have you know as much as we've hung everything up to have a little holiday and headed off to terra bella for a couple of weeks um I, I know that our energy um is is sort of um well it permeates and it vibrates out to these people anyway but i feel like they these are their fights to have it's that everyone has to go through their soul awakening journey um it's just part of the breakdown and moving you through your um vibrational we talk about the vibrational shifts from 3d to 5d and all this sort of thing and opening up your senses and being more aware of your surrounds and enjoying the moment and all these kind of things well a lot of these people in 3d they're very locked in or they have been probably not so much the year coming but they've been very locked in to their 3d narrative we know that they have um sadly but that's what's going to be a changing there's going to be a lot more fights for freedom oh, i hope so see where else we go god i'm getting um hang on i'm getting this phrase noise complaints hang on oh oh we know what that'd be around don't we that'd be around the ottawa <laughs> oh that's what it's <laughs> the ottawa truck horn blowing beep 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 um, noise complaints apparently that was all bs too um i don't you know you get the odd one two or three people like i always say but all the rest were kind of in ottawa and all these surrounding areas where there were the trucker protests were people were cheering they loved that sound because you know why people love that sound this is a sleepwalkers um not the guys not all you guys who were probably there in half these protests because it gave them comfort knowing that stump <laughs> sorry Knowing that someone was standing up against government um, gave people comfort. So the fact that they could hear the horns honking was actually comforting to a lot of people who were fearful, who wouldn't come forward, who wouldn't stand up and fight. Um, it was actually a comforting noise. So um, know that. We know that Trudeau, Turdo, we know that he's lied about all his emergency acts and all that. He's been dragged through the ringer really about all of that. So I, I am getting that, that. Um, those noises of the honking horns actually gave comfort to people and they felt lost when they left when they got kicked out of Ottawa and the other areas um, the people felt lost and they felt like they were um, on their own again and so that's why they've got to do their own fights they've got to find the courage to do this mm -hmm. so I am getting that the noise um, complaints mm -hmm. weren't about that they weren't legitimate um, people actually found comfort in that honking horn noise. They knew it wasn't going to be forever. Gosh, it was only really for a few days, wasn't it, that it was going on. I mean, it was just to draw attention and it was just to get Turdo to come and acknowledge them and have a conversation with the, the people in charge, but no, totally refused to do it, didn't he? Uh, so it dragged on and on. Um, so that was all pretty much BS. You only got the one or two people that complained, which is always the case. You always get one or two goody two shoes. Compliers, as we call them. Um, let's see what else we get today. Oh, 
Oh, they're giving me, speaking of noise, they're giving me a Noiseworks song. Noiseworks is an Australian band. We get a lot of Australian bands because I'm Australian, I guess. Um, I'm sure it's Noiseworks. Take me back to love. It's been a long time. No, baby, now. I love a bit of more than time. Oh, I don't know the song. I don't know the name of the song, but it's by Noiseworks. Oh, I can't think of the name, but take me back to... If anyone can figure it out, I'll leave it on my Facebook page anyway. Um, oh, might be some meaning in that song, but it is by Noiseworks. Um, I think the singer is John Stevens. He's an absolutely brilliant Aussie singer. Some of you might know him over there because he's very, very well known. Um, he's got this big voice. And it's by Noiseworks. Take me back. Take me back, all right. <sighs> Take us back to some sort of normality is what I want to say. But I am getting that song by Noiseworks. I'll figure it out. Sorry, if anyone can figure it out, let's leave it down below. Sorry, guys. I'm a bit hopeless at at the names of songs and things. I just get the tune. Anyway, we'll come back to that. <laughs> to be continued, guys. We often get that here. Um. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, they're showing me all of us. This is you guys watching my channel. And I often talk here about the hurdles that government put in front of all of us um, to deter us, to stop us from standing up, to to take us off our course, but it's showing me now that we don't even see hurdles as a problem anymore. Um, you know, we knew we, we went, if you think of hurdles, like with the, um, with the last few years that we've been through, things like, you know, if you weren't jabbed, you couldn't go to the pub. If you didn't have a mask on, you couldn't go shopping. Um, so many things, you know, you can't travel overseas on a plane if you're not got your vaccine passport, all these kind of things. It's just an endless list. We know how it goes. Um, so that's that's what I'm getting here is that we um, we don't see these things as hurdles anymore. We, we just see them as tiny little hiccups. And, and it's showing me us just walking forward still um, and just stepping over the hurdles. It's almost like um, – we have this way of lowering the hurdles. So the, the governments and the leaders and that'll give us these really high hurdles to jump, like in a race, like a hurdle race. And and we just have this magical way of just seeing them as lower. So we actually don't see them as this big hurdle that we're never gonna get over. And what are we going to do? We just go, oh yeah, another hurdle, mm, righto. And we just step over it. So we don't turn things into a giant problem we actually just step over things and keep moving forward. So that's <clears throat> that's what the guides are showing me today. We don't see government hurdles and things the leaders are rolling out with the reset and all that kind of thing. We just see them as little hiccups now, like, you know, they say hiccups and hurdles come in front of you sometimes in life. Well, we just see them as these small things that we just step over now. We're just stepping over them. It's like, oh yeah, more hurdles, that's okay. We'll just step over them. That's that's our attitude. What a great attitude. <laughs> that's what helps us get through, isn't it? We just don't turn things. We don't turn <clears throat> a molehill into a mountain is what the guides are saying. That's the quote today. We don't turn molehills into mountains. We reverse it. We turn their mountains into little molehills. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, let's see where else we go. Gosh, this message is for you guys as well, that we're strong, we're grounded, um, we're forgiving, we're fairly forgiving. Today's probably going to be one of those days, where, if you're seeing this video, that you have to be fairly forgiving um, and let people back into your life um, with courage and with strength because it's not going to be easy. I know for some of you, you're probably going to have to face those things today or tomorrow, whenever your Christmas is. We're all different. We're a bit staggered here in Australia and then I think America and then we're Canada. We're all on different Sweden. <laughs> we're all um, having Christmas Day slightly differently. So whenever you get this video, you just got to stay in your courage and your power and stay really grounded. Um, focus on the fun. Focus on the festivities. Focus. And that's what they're saying. Our best gift of all that we've become really, really... Um, um, well skilled at now is being in the now moment and and staying um, just focused where we are and really enjoying these moments in time 
um, that's what the guides are saying. Just enjoy this moment in time because it's really precious. So you never know where it's going to go next. Look at us all being locked down. I remember someone on Facebook once during the um, lockdowns when we were all locked down. He posted, if only we knew on that last day before lockdowns that we were going to be locked down for so long, not two weeks, as they promised, um, we would have all had a big party and made the most of everything. <laughs> so that's kind of the message is that we've got to really just enjoy the moments and they're so precious to us you know they are they have a lot of meaning and memories get created as well with these things look how many christmas songs this is what the guides are saying to us look how many christmas songs i put on a i know you guys would be the same because we all have our music playlists here on my channel <laughs> oh my god um and i just put on some christmas playlists and it's got all the best songs hasn't it like all that um what's that song by um is it Wham or George Michael? Like, Last Christmas I gave you my heart. All these old songs. And then all the songs that, of course, are off Home Alone. You know, all that jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. And all this. And it just emotes memories and feelings in you of laughter and fun and joy. Um, some are emotional, but it's great. You know, so there's nothing wrong either with putting a few Christmas tunes on. I always do. Um, and it, it's just it's just good good for a laugh and, and a good bit of fun. So I'm getting that, that we have a lot of Christmas playlists on our Spotify, a lot of us. And it does. It takes you back to great memories. I know there's some modern singers too that have some good songs out now as well. I think Sia's got a song called Snowman and my daughter was singing along to it in the car the other day. It was just great. So maybe in years to come, that'll be a memory for her. Um, so, you know, these are the things we can create today. So let's find that joy in the festivities and the fun and the just being around people because it's precious. We didn't have it for so long. Um, let's see what else we get. Hang on, I've got to have some tea. Yeah, just get in that party spirit and the party vibe is what they're saying. Let your hair down. Um, we'll keep growing and evolving because um, we're taking good care of ourselves. See, this is the key to surviving all this nonsense and garbage. And this is what the guides are saying. It's about taking good care of yourself and making sure that you're being fulfilled as a person. And it's not selfish to do that. You need to know it's not selfish to do that. It's really important to your health and your well-being and your, of course your mental state you know that's very important um to stay strong and stand in your beliefs Ooh, i've got the burps from the tea guys sorry so ladylike oh. I'm just getting this cycle. It's like a cycle and it's going around and it's saying we keep returning to our core beliefs. So no matter what happens, if we do veer off our path, we keep going back to our core beliefs of who we are, um, why we're strong, um, what difference we've made in the world. Like, you know, these are the other things. What are you going to do? Stand by and let all this garbage roll out or look out for your kids and your grandkids and, and your our future as well. You know, you've got to keep going back to that because that's what we want. We want, it's again about that freedom song. We want our freedom. So keep going back to what's driving us and what's making us want to, um, oh, what would you say? Um, keep the wheels grinding is what the guides are saying. Keep. It's like showing me us as like this big... Um, like what do you call those big grandfather clocks it's like that and it's showing keep the cogs turning it's showing me the cogs turning in this big long you know those big ones that chime sometimes oh, older people have them in their house and they dong dong and they dong every hour or something um but it's showing the cogs moving at the top and that's what we're like it's like showing our brain that's how we are we're wired so our cogs keep moving and we keep um keep everything flowing and 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 thinking and and thinking ahead and 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 this is what they're showing me keep all those cogs well oiled um is what the guides are saying and that could be simply about um continuing to grow as people spiritually mentally definitely physically and eating really well and being really healthy but it's about nourishing you know if you think of oiling some cogs in a grandfather clock 
it's going to keep time like ticking. Otherwise, the clock's going to seize up and it's not going to keep moving. You know, time's going to stop is what the sort of message is. So I'm getting this grandfather clock and that's what we're like. We've got to keep well-oiled, like well-oiled machinery, um, which is, is and, and now there are examples that the guides are saying is like keep reading books that help us to expand. Um, certainly watch heaps of videos on YouTube. I've got tons on there on specific subjects like anxiety, depression, attraction. I've got so many videos. Go check some of them out, guys, over the holidays if you want. Um, to find out a few things and these are from my experiences as well as things I've learned for example with my sister I've learned a lot of her um so this is the kind of stuff go and watch Eckhart Tolle Aaron Doherty is another brilliant person who can teach you a lot and I also talk a lot about a great hypnosis guy called Paul McKenna he helped me through some really dark times about having that positivity i would play some of those so that it went into my subconscious mind so there's so many things that we can still keep the the um cogs turning and keep them well oiled by continuing to grow and not stagnating again because that's when you stagnate that's when the dust settles and that's when the cogs seize up and that's the image i'm getting for us today <laughs> hang on a minute Oh, they're showing me again. They're showing me the town crier again, and I'm getting behold an announcement. Hang on. And I don't think this is about Charles. I don't think it is. Hang on. I am getting England though. Hang on. I feel, I'm, I could be wrong, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm getting there's this like memorial, um, I'm, I'm getting this memorial and I'm not sure if it's like a memorial of late for Lady Diana or there's something they're trying to, see they're trying to con improve their image all the time, this is what I keep saying, they're trying to stay on the world stage, but I am getting this announcement of something about oh, the Lady Diana funding program or the Lady Diana. I am getting Lady Diana. Um, and this could have been something that was in the works for a long time as well. But I feel like the Royals are going to drag that in because they need something to make them look more positive to, to associate themselves again with like the Lady Diana um, feeling to emote in people. Um, that's just what I'm getting. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It could be like a funding program. Um, it could be a memorial um, for Lady Diana. Um, and it could be associated with the Queen as well. Um, something they may have done together that a lot of people weren't aware of or didn't know about. I am getting that sort of announcement of um, some big program. Oh, Hang on a minute. It could be an education program even or, or something like that. I'm just getting that. That's what I'm getting for England. Um, that would be, I would think, into the new year. There's some announcement about something like that to do with, you know, because we know the royals are trying to stay loved by everybody and the only way they can do that is with Diana and the Queen. So if they use those two combined, I think they feel like they can get the people back on their side. So I am getting something around this connection. Um, we'll have to see what comes out there. Um, it's showing me sushi in the background though. Still working his magic. He's like at the desk. He's working like overtime. They're showing me he's got this little lamp on and he's got this feather pen, like one of those old fashioned ink pens. <coughs> And he's working away, doing all his hard work. That's what I'm getting for sushi. Oh, he is all over this. He is the big ladder climber, I'm afraid, guys. He'll work through the night. He's so dedicated to return everything to it. It's um, level of stature is what I'm getting. So that's what sushi's up to. And if you're new here, that's Sunak. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, who's sushi? <laughs> so, yeah, we have a lot of code names. Um, I'll see if there's something else today. 
<clears throat> yeah, the guides are just saying for us to be really ready um, for the new year. Like, <sighs> my chest is getting tight. They're saying that the dust is going to settle really quickly for these sleepwalkers. Um, it's going to be a real shock for them. Um, they're showing us now... <laughs> with the coat rack and they're showing us like getting our like raincoats off and putting on like a rain hat if you think of a raincoat and a rain hat um it, it it's to protect you from the rain but in our case it's to protect us from the dust that's gonna settle we're not gonna get covered in it um we're protecting ourselves from the dust that's gonna settle so we're lifting off our raincoats now for protection they're actually to protect us from the the dust that's going to be falling. Oh, hang on. Yeah, and that's what the guides are saying. In 2023, there's going to be these huge, huge mongers, downpours of information, meaning truths. They're going to be huge downpours, and this is what's going to wash all the like dust away. And, and give that clarity to everybody. Well, probably literally the way that the rain's been happening and the abnormal snow and floods and everything else will probably wash it away. But um, this is not literally, of course. Well, it could be, <laughs> like we say. But this is what's happening. It's the big dumps and downloads of information that are going to start to hit these people really hard. You know, I told you about that Karen Phelps, that doctor who's very well respected here in Australia, always on mainstream media. And she's talking about her vaccine injuries and all the people she's seen with vaccine injuries and she wants APRA to be questioned as to why they silenced the doctors and told them they weren't to talk about vaccine injuries. So this is happening and it's happening where you guys are as well. And the thing is, like I keep saying to you, we're three years on now, so there's going to be more and more people who are going to get their courage, get their bravery up and finally talk their truth because we know on this channel there are crap loads of people who have been hiding their truths, zipped up in their bubble denial suits as well. And they don't want to be vilified and ostracized. They saw what happened to all of us. So they don't want that to happen to them. They want to be, remember that a lot of these people are sheep and they want to be normal and fit in with the narrative and not be different and not think outside the square. They just want to blend in with everybody else. <sighs> so frustrating isn't it so i'm getting big dumps next year of truths and information oh god i hope so well look what DeSantis is doing it's unreal over there in america it's so good uh, at least someone over there is telling the truth we know biden and hunter biden aren't anyway all right um let's see if there's something else to close with today Oh, and the guides are just saying we can't react. <sighs> we always know that, though, don't we? They're saying we can't react when the crap goes down. We've got to stay uh, really focused, really centred, uh, very detached. Uh, we don't want to go down that road of conversations and saying, told you so, we knew this was going to happen, why didn't you listen to us? Because that's just going to fall on deaf ears, just a waste of our own energy and our own time. I keep saying, the guides keep saying they've got to wake up at their own pace, so we've just got to let them do that. Now, don't get into any arguments, any disagreements. Um, just avoid that at all costs, is what the guides are saying. Um, just stay focused on, on us and moving forward on yourself, rather. Oh, of course, we had to get this song, didn't we, to finish off the um, the the Christmas songs. Um, what's that song? Um, is it Band Aid Project? Oh, I love it so much. It's so timeless. Everyone's in it. George Michael, um, Boy George. Oh, you too, isn't it? I don't know. Everyone's in it. Um, it's Christmas time. And there's knees or one. I don't know the words. Having fun. There's a world outside your window. I think they did fundraising, didn't they, for Africa or something? Do they know it's Christmas time at all? 
Here's to you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, that's the song I'm going to leave you with today. That's our Christmas song for Terabella. We're healing the world. We've come together here on my little channel and we're making a difference. We're growing. Um, we're like the blob movement. I always talk about the movie, The Blob. We're like the blob movement of truth that keeps growing and expanding. Um, more people are waking up, guys. And that's the song I'm going to leave you with today, Band-Aid Project. Is it in the world? Oh, I don't know the name of the song, guys. Let them know it's Christmas time. Is that it? Well, that's the song I'm going to leave you with. And I'm going to head off and walk Penny. She's absolutely worn out. Oh, look at her. She's such a little cutie. She's been so easy. I've even got my Christmas decorations, guys. You'd be... <coughs> oh, someone on a bike. How dare they ride past my house? That's a terrible crime. Isn't it? I better bark at them. <laughs> She's so protective. So we're going to head off for a walk. Oh, I'm getting Christmas kisses from Penny. Oh, big yawn. <laughs> Well, look, I just want to say thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Christmas. I really do appreciate you watching my channel. You guys have helped me heaps too. Please know that, you know, we have laughs. We have a lot of feedback and we have little conversations here. We have music. God, we have everything going on. We have, if nothing else, we do have a laugh and get ourselves through this absolute madness and ridiculous experience. And we've all united um, and come together because of. So I am really grateful for that. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful Christmas. Mwah! Sending you big kisses and hugs, everybody out there. You know who you all are. I do love you. Um, I'm not going to name everyone because I, I just hate missing people. Um, but I do really appreciate. I try to get back to all your comments because just just to let you guys know that you are important to me and, and that you have helped me a lot through what's been a really difficult um yeah. <laughs> so stay strong, get your raincoat out and get ready for the dust that's about to settle and I will talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye everybody. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like buttons guys and please comment. I'd love to hear from you. All the best for Christmas. Take care.